This tutorial will present the digital and analog clock and their properties. After clicking on New Project button, we will choose Simple Project Type from the Wizard dialog. After creating the project, a corresponding entry will appear in the projects list. We will insert a digital clock item into the project by dragging it from toolbar. The digital clock item is actually a 2D text that is already set as a clock. The elements to be displayed can be chosen from clock dialog and a preview is available in the dialog. The vertical and horizontal alignment of the item can be changed by choosing the desired values. The position can be changed by dragging or by editing the corresponding values from position group. You can lock an item, on X, Y or both axes, in order to avoid moving it with the mouse by mistake. But locking applies only for mouse dragging, the item can be always moved by editing the position settings. The properties can be adjusted in the same way as for the 2D text. The shadow and border size, colors and transparency can be adjusted. For increasing the visibility, you can enable the background feature for 2D text and the assigned background will automatically match the digital clock size. If you want to have a 2D item displayed in perspective, you need to activate the 3D mode by checking the corresponding option. The font dialog allows you to choose the desired font and set the style and the size. If the content of the 2 text exceeds the available area you can activate the fit option that can shrunk and downsized in order to fit the target size. We will insert now an analog clock item into the project by dragging it from toolbar. After dropping into the preview, a dialog appear for choosing the image. The image used for the analog clock has four quarters and each quarter contains one of the clock elements. You can replace the image by clicking on Change button so the dialog for selecting image will appear. The position can be changed by dragging or by editing the corresponding values from position group. You can lock an item, on X, Y or both axes, in order to avoid moving it with the mouse by mistake. But locking applies only for mouse dragging, the item can be always moved by editing the position settings. The opacity of the image can be changed by selecting the desired values from the opacity slider. If you want to have the item displayed in perspective, you need to activate the 3D mode by checking the corresponding option. On the clock dialog, there are additional settings that allows you to set a positive or negative offset.